to say anything. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs>
the in the two guard and the one guard area or in between that um you can use your one and a half guard and then come back with the one guard open but <laughs> to me it's a waste of time but i'm using my zero guard close um the clipper that i'm using does have two speeds whenever i do a step that requires flicking or just blending out that section i like to put on the first speed the slower speed um the slower speed bent blends better to me so yeah if you got this clipper whenever you take out a guideline just put it on the first speed instead of having it full speed and i can see me i'm just just working that line out um after i take this guard off you're going to see me do a lot of detail work like i'm just going to take out that ball guideline using my corners and the lever close and then i'm just going to do straight detail work um so this is how i'm starting right now i'm doing detail work as i take out that bottom line you know but i'm cleaning up more of that zero guard area right now that the zero guard didn't take out and yeah you guys you definitely want to make sure you do detail work as you go about your cuts and when you think you're done okay this is how you get your cut as clean as possible your clients are going to notice um, that you take extra time to um perfect their haircut clients really do notice that okay they do notice how much how much time you spend on them they don't want to be in the chair forever but they can tell if you're done with the cut and you're just doing like extra detail work okay so do extra detail work you might gain a client or two <laughs> so yeah i'm just detailing this right now just doing a bunch of extra a bunch of extra detail work Man, I don't know why I can never talk while I'm doing these voiceovers. My voice always be cracking. <laughs> My voice be cracking, I'll be stuttering. I don't know what it is, man. You see me in real life, I'll be chilling. My voice be perfectly fine. But as soon as I do a voiceover. <laughs> man. So now we basically got that blend looking good for the most part. So we're just gonna move on okay now we're gonna style the top he does not want nothing off the top okay i know y'all not y'all probably never seen his angle before on my channel um except for like a couple times but i'm going to style the top now he wants to slick back so i'm just about to wet the top and just comb everything back so after this after we comb everything back try to get everything to lay back the way that i wanted to um you're gonna get your styling comb and just blow dry it um like blow dry with the styling comb to slick it back almost so you basically just want to use that style comb take the air back and uh blow dry it as you do it but you don't want it to be bone dry like leave it a little little damp so you get your product right here that way when you add the product um it gives it a more a more natural look and it's easier to apply to like kind of moist i don't like that word but <laughs> moist hair you feel me so not all the way dry not super damp so i just rub it in my hands and just, just get it all in this hair um i'm not paying it any direction i'm just going back because it's a slick back okay so you just want to slick everything back Now I'm gonna grab my styling comb and you know, just do a little bit more styling, give it a good look on top. Alright you guys, so right now I'm just about to line this up. This is not really nothing. <laughs> not really nothing I could teach you. Um he didn't want a really crispy beard. He more he likes the more natural look, but for it to be clean up, so I might see some comments saying, bro, the beer wasn't crispy. It wasn't that crispy. Listen, it's all good. That's not what he wanted. So, I'm going to give the client what he wants.
All right, you guys. So this technique I'm doing, I learned from S Craft Blends. Okay, so you basically just want to get your comb and your shears and just use your comb, go up on that hair and try to open and close the shears as much as you can while you're going up on the blend. Um, this basically just thins out them dark areas. Just another form of detailing. Another form of detailing. Okay, you hear that voice crack? Man, I don't know what's going on tonight. <laughs> Man. But yeah, so I just explained how you want to do it. Um, you can try it give, it, give it a shot, you know what I'm saying? Let me know how it works out for you. But yeah, man, so now this is another trick I learned from s Craft Blends. Just using the, um, the shear, just using the shot. So here's another angle of me doing the same detail work. Y'all can see that that blend is coming together. The blend was okay before I did the shear over comb and just the shear work by itself, but... It's at a whole nother level. It's at a whole nother level now. So you're gonna use that shaver just to get some more detail. This is all just extra detail work just to make the blend look a lot better, okay? The blend was already fired, but why not take it to the next level? This is a cut, man. Let me know if you learned anything. Let me know if this helped you. Okay, if you feel like you can go out and do a mid fade slip back right now, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Y'all can see the fade is a little different on both sides, but you can't say it's not blurry. All right, the cut was clean. The, the client loved it. Okay, you're gonna see that at the end. But yeah, follow me on Instagram at Wavy underscore Kev. I'm out. Deuces. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, this is the you put a classic SD card in there. Same card. Same card. Same card.